Okay guys, we're gonna go over a quick how-to video on how to install Pluggy into your Project Diablo 2 folder. Um, the servers have been down right now, um, it, or if you just wanna play on single player, this is a really easy way um, to be able to save all your character's gear across all your different characters um, and having them one compiled stash. Let's go ahead and jump into it and how to install. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below, guys, on uh, this exact document here. But go ahead and click on this document and we're gonna follow these steps, right? So we're gonna go ahead and download Project Diablo 2. It's very simple if you just follow these quick and easy steps. Go to the website, download, run it, and you're gonna inject it into your Diablo 2 folder. So you should already have a Diablo 2 folder um, installed onto your computer. And you're just gonna inject the Project Diablo 2 directly into it. Uh, and then once Project Diablo 2 is up and running, you're gonna go to the next step, okay? So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and download a Pluggy from the zip file. So we're gonna go ahead and click right here on this. I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link for you down below. Um, your computer might show this where it says discard. Go ahead and click the up arrow and then you're gonna hit keep, all right? So once you have kept that folder, let's just go ahead and open it. And let's go ahead and extract this, right? We're gonna extract this to uh, that same place. Now I've already done this one, so you can see there's a one there, um, but you would just hit okay. Once you have extracted this folder, uh, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to go to your uh, the folder where you extracted it, open it up, and we're gonna click on, um, as it shows here, so we're gonna click on uh, pluggy.dll. We're gonna type, click on pluggy.exe, pluggy.ini. We're gonna basically click on all of these right here. So click it, hold shift, Highlight them all. We're going to control C. We're going to go to our Diablo 2. We're going to go to our pluggy. Or I'm sorry. We're going to go to our Diablo 2. We're going to go to our project Diablo 2 folder. And we're going to paste it in here. Now you can see I've already got it in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and, go ahead and hit X. Because um, I don't actually want to do that. Uh, once you have pasted those in there, uh, we're going to keep following down. And we're going to copy the pluggy folder into the Diablo 2 folder, not the project Diablo 2 folder, okay? So we're gonna go back, um, go ahead and go to your uh, pluggy download that we just had. You're gonna take your pluggy right here and copy that directly into your Diablo 2 directory. Now you can see I've already got it there, but if I were to copy it, um, you know, I don't need to replace anything. We'll just leave it, but I'm just gonna put it right in there. Uh, once that is in, uh, once that is in there, um, all you need to do is go to your uh, Diablo 2 folder, your Project Diablo 2 folder. We're gonna right click Pluggy and you can um, run as administrator. Um, now, um, you can put this on your desktop and then just go ahead and change the properties to always run as administrator, but that is a quick and easy way to get your Pluggy installation for D2. Okay guys, now once you have Pluggy installed, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna notice that in your stash, it's a lot smaller, right? It's not actual Project Diablo 2 stash. There is a fix for that. So let's go ahead and get into that. So what you're gonna do is we're going to navigate to your Project Diablo 2 folder where we installed Pluggy. Now, you're gonna navigate to this file right here. It's your Pluggy.ini file. Let's go ahead and open that up. <clears throat> you're gonna go into here and you're gonna find where it says um, active big stash, and you're gonna set that to zero, okay? You're also going to um, scroll down to where it says active share gold, and we're also gonna make that zero, okay? Now we're gonna close that out, we're gonna save, and now let's just go ahead and run it again and see what it looks like. And there you have it, our stash is now fixed to the larger stash. Now I do wanna make this comment, this is very important. You need to make sure that you take all of your items out of this bottom portion of the stash before you install Pluggy and log into the game. If you do not, you will lose any items that you have down here in the bottom portion of the stash. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, tune into my Twitch channel if you guys wanna see me live. We're currently playing a Bone Necromancer. Uh, we might be switching to the Fire Golem build just depending on how strong it is. Um, I'll leave the links below, uh, down below. Thank you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.